Hello everyone, Junk Wax Investor here. Hope everybody's having a great day. Today's video we'll be looking at the top 15 Junk Wax era basketball cards that sold on eBay last week. Criteria for cards to make this list is up on the screen right now. There's been no major changes since last week, so we'll just jump right into the list. In the 15th position, from 1992 Top Stadium Club, we have the Michael Jordan base card graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold for $585. This is a ways off from the record for this card of $1,099, and it has a pop of 321 in gem mint condition. This Jordan card can be found in Series 1, and boxes of 1992 Top Stadium Club Series 1 have recently sold for around $130 to $150. Bucks. Moving on, we have a tie in the 13th position. First up from 1991 Upper Deck. We have the Michael Jordan Magic Johnson Classic Confrontation card, one of my favorite cards from this set. This example was graded a pristine BGS 10. This card sold for $600. Subgrades were 10s for centering surface and corners and a 9.5 for edges. And it has a pop of 24 in pristine condition and there's no higher graded black labels. For reference, PSA 10s sell for around $550-$575. So I think this is a pretty good price for a pristine BGS 10. Boxes of 1991 Upper Deck sell for around 50 to 60 bucks. Also in 13th position from 1992 Top Stadium Club, we have the Michael Jordan Beam Team Insert graded a mint PSA 9. This card sold for $600. The record for this card is $1,500 in a mint 9, and it has a pop of 669. There are 97 higher graded gem mint PSA 10s, and these Beam Team inserts can be found in Series 2 boxes of 92 Stadium Club, which sell for around $375. Alright, next up we actually have a tie for 11th position, with first up being 1992 Topps Archives Michael Jordan, rated a PSA 10. This is the regular base card, not the gold parallel, and it sold for $660. The record for this card is $999 and it has a pop of $337. Boxes of these 92 Topps archives sell for around $160 to $175. Bucks. Also in the 11th spot from 1992 Hoops, we have the Shaquille O'Neal Rookie Year Magic's All Rookie Team Insert Card, graded a PSA 10. This card sold for $660. The record for this card is $1,125 and it has a pop of 334 in gem mint condition. These Magic's All Rookie Team inserts were found in Series 2 boxes of 92 hoops, and recent sales have been around $140 to $150 on eBay. In the 10th spot, from 1992 tops, we have the Michael Jordan Gold Parallel, graded a PSA 10. This card sold for $689. This is quite far off of the record for this card of $2,220 and it has a pop of $219. This Jordan card can be found in Series 1. Boxes of 1992 Top Series 1 sell for around $100 to $150. Bucks. And the gold parallel cards are inserted one per pack. In the number 9 position from 1993 Upper Deck, we have the Michael Jordan Skylights card graded a PSA 10. This is not an insert, it's from the base set, and it sold for $841. This is the third highest sale of this card, with the record being $1,033 from earlier this year. Boxes of 1993 Upper Deck High Series sell for around $100 to $115 bucks online. In the number 8 position from 1993 Topps Finest, we have the Shaquille O'Neal Second Year Refractor, graded a mint PSA 9. This card sold for $863. This is the fifth highest sale of this card with the record being $1,225 from February. This card has a mint 9, has a pop of 85, and there are six higher graded PSA 10s. Boxes of 93 Tops Finest sell for around $800 online. Pretty pricey. And the seventh spot from 1990 Fleer, we have the Michael Jordan All-Star Sticker, graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold for $945. The record for this card in a 10 is $1,575 and it has a pop of 557. Boxes of 1990 Fleer recently have sold for around $125 to $135 bucks on eBay. 
In the number six position from 1993 Fleer Ultra, we have the Michael Jordan Power in the Key Insert, graded a mint PSA 9. This card sold for $1,000 even. The record for this card is $2,345, and it has a pop of 148 in mint condition, and there are 45 higher grade gem mint PSA 10s. These Power in the Key Inserts can be found in Series 2 boxes, and recent sales of 93 Ultra Series 2 have been around $275 to $325. Hello Junk Wax Investor Community, I'm excited to announce a new affiliate partnership that we have with BCW Supplies. You'll save 10% off your next retail order of sports car supplies. Use the link in the description below and on checkout use the code JUNKWAX10. In the number 5 position from 1992 Topps Archives Gold, we have the Shaquille O'Neal Rookie Card graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold for $1,025. We are less than a third off the record of $3,500, and this card has a pop of $127. Actually quite low compared to some of his other rookie cards. These gold parallels of the Topps Archive set can only be found in set form, and recent sales of these sealed sets have been for around $400 to $500 bucks on eBay. In the number 4 position from 1989 Fleer, we have Michael Jordan's base card, graded a PSA 10. This card sold for $1,226. The record for this card is $4,200 and it has a pop of $988. Getting really close to that $1,000 mark. Boxes of 89 Fleer sell for $600 to $750 recently on eBay. In the number 3 position from 1992 Top Stadium Club, we have the Shaquille O'Neal Rookie Year Beam Team Insert rated a mint PSA 9. This card sold for $1,400. A record for this card is $3,000 and it has a pop of $854 in a Mint 9 slab. And there are 111 higher graded Gem Mint PSA 10s. These Beam Team inserts can be found in Series 2 boxes of 1992 Top Stadium Club. And those sell for around $375 on eBay. In the number 2 position, from 1992 Tops, we have the Shaquille O'Neal Rookie Card Gold Parallel, graded a PSA 10. This card sold for $2,000. The record for this card is an unbelievable $12,000 from earlier this year, and this card has a pop of 502. Boxes of 1992 Tops Series 2 sell for around $375 to $400. Bucks. Definitely a huge difference from the Series 1 that we saw earlier for the Michael Jordan card. But the same as Series 1, these gold parallel inserts are inserted one per pack. And finishing things off with the number 1 position from 1993 Fleer Ultra, we have the Michael Jordan Scoring Kings insert graded a PSA 10. This card sold for $15,100. This is the third highest sale of this card with the record being $29,600 from earlier this year. Wow. These Scoring Kings inserts can be found in Series 1 boxes of 1993 Fleer Ultra, and those have recently sold on eBay for around 500 bucks. All right, that's it for the list this week. The total of the top 15 Junk Wax Era basketball cards that sold on eBay last week was $28,194. Definitely a pretty good week. And when you look at the graph, we're trending in the right direction from the last couple months. We could have changed the name of the list this week to the Jordan and Shaq Show. Hopefully next week we get a little bit more variety, but that's for the market to decide. Let me know down below what your favorite cards were this week. And as always, thank you for watching. Truly appreciated. Enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. In addition, hit that bell icon and get notifications so you don't miss out on any of our future great content.